Hello YouTube, welcome to another video of this great series, okay? So let's get started, in today's video we're going to add uh, uh, speech synthesis capability. So let's import this namespace. Synthesis. We are going to add the synthesis capability. Adding speech synthesis, okay? So let's create an object, which are going to be speech synthesizing let's call it speaker okay speaker uh, let's comment here speech synthesis okay uh, here we're going to instantiate this object speech speaker is equal to speech synthesize okay instantiating I don't know let's add something more create the instance okay or create an instance okay that's all that we need to create a speech synthesize object but let's uh, work on some other things okay uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is to make this program call or speak back let's let's pretty much just uh, let's call this let's, let's call speaker let's not speak async because we are working on Windows form remember that and let's just pass the speech variable which is just what I said okay so let's run this and we're going to see uh, some kind of uh, simo some kind of Versailles will be Simon say run Simon state ran Simon says run for the Simon sites run Simon says run Simon s a s e run what up what what Simon says run Simon s a s e run okay so that is very basic I think you get the point okay let's just stop this okay let's uh let's not let's add another thing let's came here on windows forms i'm gonna add a combo box which is a component for uh, pro uh properly speaking get objects into a combo or at least let's add it right here let me just change the the point size uh, I think 12 is a good size okay so this is uh, I'm gonna list all voice that we have that I have on this computer okay so uh, I don't know uh, probably here I don't know but where I should uh, position it this right here okay I don't I don't think I don't I don't have much that time to think about it so I just uh, create a loop right here uh, right here okay that get uh, the voices okay that we have in this computer let's create a for forage loop installed voice voice in speaker dot get installed voices okay uh, okay so let's call uh, this dot combo box dot items dot add we're going to get the voice dot voice info dot name okay so we can uh, change the voice of this program let's click let's double click this uh, combo box object and we can now change uh, the voice by calling speaker dot select voice let's call this uh, combo box dot select uh, select item dot to string okay let's run this uh, I forget it okay I just I just uh, Let's let's keep the speak async method. 
Okay, let's run again. Hello? How are you? How are you? How are you? Uh, okay, as you can see, we cannot define that voice. Let's just try a, let's just add a, a exception handling. Let's try it this way and try to see if it's gonna work. Okay, let's uh, see, catch, exception. X. Let's call it message box dot show x dot trace x stack tr trace. Okay. Let's run again. Uh, hello. Let's try hello. We get a in error. Okay. Let's see what the error says. Uh, okay. Hello. How are you? How are you? This is okay. This is okay. Hello. And will. Uh, as you can see, we have some voices that don't work. Okay. Uh, uh, like Mary don't work, Mike don't work, but Zero worked well and Hazel worked well. So I have three voices that I can use on this program, but I don't want them. I don't want I don't want to use them. So I'm going to delete this. This code is a bit slick. Uh, we don't need this anymore. Uh, but I did that just to show you how to make. Uh, how to add new voices, okay? So we we have uh, added a new voice. We see we saw how to select voices for uh, for change uh, the assistant voices, okay? As the assistant's voice. Uh, so that was the video. I hope you like it. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video if you like. So uh, see you later.